Hello, dear friends, Chris here. I hope you're well. I hope everything's going great with you. It's the beginning of March and I have an unboxing for you. Now I have um, had this from Oraloa for quite some time. I don't exactly remember when I ordered it. I should have probably checked, but it's been a bit, um, probably a couple months. Um, I think I ordered it because there was a sale or it was reduced price or something. And I do like quite a bit of their products. They, they have really great designs. But this is the first one I bought. Um, and so let's look at it. So I have opened it to check it out. Um, and luckily before I decided to film this, I was going through my drawer in the uh, where I sit. And I actually found this little baggie right here. So they send this to you because otherwise I would have completely forgotten that this was sent. So we have uh, a little doo -doo 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 business type thing here. We have another one. This is for the little wax they provide. Another one. And they sent some cute stickers. So we get a little duck. A nice beach scene. And a lady on the beach. Okay, so they also sent a little cover minder. So this is pretty. It's a little fish. It uh, has glitter in it. It's um, teal into pink here. And on the back is the magnet. So I'm actually going to just hang, put that up right now uh, so I don't lose that. And we have this little um, thing of wax. Uh, couchette sear. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. And I guess this it has a smell. It's I guess the smell is Hawaii. It does smell nice. And they have these a couple little of these little gems in there. Um, so there we go. I'll have to look at that later more. I can't really get get it out um, right now, but uh, it, it has like a tri uh, two color. So that was part of this. So let's get to the actual unboxing. Now, I will tell you, this is, oh, oops, does it say it there? So, it is um, by, I guess, I don't know if this is an artist or just a name that um, is used from, like, this, I don't know how art works. So, some, I know some people, you know, use their name for the art. Some people use, like, a, what I guess called this, uh, some sort of studio or, or, along those kind type of lines um and it's like under an umbrella thing so it's by um Veonette. um of course i've looked i forgot how to pronounce this um so if i mispronounce it i'm sorry i think it's luasu phoenix um, and it is a round. It's a 59 centimeter by 90 centimeter or 23.2 inch by 35.4 inch. Okay, let's see what we have here. A welcome to Zion Painting Craft, a little big old sheet here, you know, with the uh, instructions and um, way to take care of the, the painting and all that kind of stuff. And we also do have a sticker sheet. And this is where you can see what exactly it is. And it's a large sticker sheet. So this is what we have. Again, that's the size. And again, it's a round. There's 50, 55 colors. And this is the art. So... It's this little, it's this girl with a baby phoenix. Beautiful um, lanterns and hibiscus. And again, Luasu Phoenix and Veonette. Uh, 
Okay. So I'm not going to go into, um, pick, break out all of these drills, but this is how they come. Of course, all nicely packed in pre-bagged beautiful colors. Lots of blues, but also lots of bright colors. Um, let me look to see. I will show, take out them to show. There are two ABs in here. There's a yellow and a reddish pink color. So let's see what that one is. They're at the end, I believe. So let me just open this to show you. So here's our first AB color. It's like a, a raspberry, light raspberry color. And we also have this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous yellow AB. So it does look like there's a nice amount in these two bags, especially the yellow one, so that's nice. I'm pretty sure, per my usual, I will be zhuzhing it up somehow. Oops. My sticker sheet tried to run away. So I'm going to do my best. What was that? Oh. Now we do have the toolkit in here. Okay. So standard kind of white boat or tray. I hate calling it that. Um, are the, um, open this up just to look. We have a pen, a hand grip, some blue wax in the caddy, and we do have tweezers. Yes, they are the murder tweezers. Look at how sharp that is. So always be careful. So, toolkit. Okay. I'll do my best to try to show you this. Um, since again, I don't have the best um, set up just right now. I'm just going to, I'm trying to fold it backwards. So it is a kind of what I would call, let's call it a hybrid canvas. So it is, a, it does have soft feel to it. Um, the front is more vinyl type but the back is softer and it's so it's kind of like a hybrid it's not completely soft and self-flattening and pillowy um but it's not the very stiff hard canvases that sometimes you get so happy medium i suppose right okay so here we go again i can't get the whole thing in so i'll have to what I'll do is I will take you off the stand here and let's look this way. So color blocking, color blocking. Look at all the color blocking. Let's actually go in close while we're here. So the since we've seen the ABs and I'm looking at the showing you the cameras up close, the two AB symbols are the open triangle with the yellow and the pink is an L. So when we start over here, we could see in the Phoenix, the baby Phoenix, all of this, the open triangles are tons and tons up to there. Not so much in his body though, but in his tail. And the other one is the L. So the L is on her um, uh, cuff, her long cuff. I don't, I, I'm blanking. That's a lot. Look at all that ton, like huge chunks of ABs there and next to each other. And again, tons of color blocking, tons and tons of color blocking. 
Again, this is the bottom and this is the other side. Now, if we go up a little closer. So these are the plant life in these, what looks like blues and greens, assuming. Again, color blocking all through her hair, the same, one same color. Color blocking all through her dress. We do have some confetti in the background. That's really where the confetti is in the background a little bit. But um, generally a color blocker's dream. So yes, this is the, sorry to just jump up. So that's that pink color. I was looking to see in the, the lantern if there was any, but there's not. Because those are reds and the yellows are not ABs. However, that will be changed, certainly in the lantern. Most likely, there will be rhinestones, because I love doing my rhinestones in paintings, as well as over here. And back here is the hibiscus. Again, more plant life. So here we have it. Oh, I will show you the bottom. Doo -doo -doo. So what do you all think of her? I am in two ways. I think she's great. Again, it's Luasu Phoenix. Um, she is very pretty. The bird's pretty, the back, it's nice. I'm really wanting to see how it looks done because um, for the size, again, what was it? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, Basically, it's a 59, but let's call it a 60 by 90. Let's round up a little. For 60 by 90, I would think just on the quick look of it, and of course it's round, so you can't really make too big of a judgment, I suppose. I would think the detail would be a little bit crisper. Um, it looks a little simplistic, and it worries me, like especially that flower. It kind of looks a little jumbly, and the leaves... Again, I have in the background, I don't know. Lots of color blocking with the, the figures, which is very simple. Um, so the way I think of things is that the size of this, the simplicity of the, the charting for the money, it is because it's more of a premium canvas, kind of is a little bit concerning. Um, so I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I think she'll look great when she's done, but again, for the premium aspect and the money and the size, I don't know yet. Because if again, here is the, the image. So you really should be able to see in the flower, you see all those, the middle and the shoots coming out of it, the light. Again, on the leaves, you could see the the leaves are one color basically, which is fine, but then they have the veins and leaves. So I do hope that comes out right. Again, the background, you could see there. So it is really a rather simple picture. So maybe I'm just overthinking this one. I have seen other ones that look a lot more detailed in the drawing, uh, the charting aspect of it. So uh, it might be just be the image I picked out. Again, this is all my crazy internal thoughts. <laughs> I'll save judgment, but I do think it will look great when done. So I'm happy I got this. Um, I really am. I really love the image. Um, I love Asian images, which is she's an Asian lady with their, with their, I love the bird. It's super cute. And I love the background sort of images as well. The colors, 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 you know, I love my colors. And looking in here, I probably can put some rhinestones in her outfit right there. That's another place. Again, always looking to juice it up somewhere, right? And the yellows falling down uh, from the lantern. Into, again, in the flower. I can even maybe put them in the, the veins of the leaves. Or some ABs possibly in the veins of the leaves. It's all, everything's all possibilities. Especially, which, which is good when you're doing a simpler image, a uh, charted image. Because you can change things easier than when it's tons of symbols and colors. It's much harder to change things then. So, okay, enough of me rambling. You've seen it, it's 15 minutes. We have Oraloa, Vayonet, 
Luasu Phoenix. Again, 55 colors. It's around 60 by 90 or 59 really by 90. Um, I'm going to trust the measurements. I believe it's correct. It certainly looks correct. Um, before we go, I could just do one more thing. Let's check the stickiness of it. You can't see it, but I'll pull it back over here. Stickiness feels good. Um, quick test. It's not fantastic, but it's not bad either. Again, won't know till the drills go down because sometimes even the stickiness can be deceiving, guys. Um, so there, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> so there we have it. Uh, my first Oraloa piece, hopefully and probably won't be my last because I, like I said, I think it'll come out really pretty. I've seen other ones that are really beautiful. And um, it's just whenever I get the time and money, you know, that's <laughs> how it goes. So, uh, okay. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate your love, support, kindness, friendship, and all that good stuff. Thank you for um, coming back. And anybody new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I, I love to have you here. It's a fun, safe space. Okay, so everybody, please be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Um, one more thing, uh, of course, per usual, join the Facebook group I have with me and Angie. It'll be linked down, linked down below, my Instagram link down below, and I will link this painting down below as well from Oraloa. So until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.